What's up, everybody? My name is Rob Anderson. I'm here with Melcher and Karen. Yeah? Uh, we're on the Las Vegas Strip. We're going to do some magic. Now, do you guys have friends here with you, or is it just you two? No, I really just us two. Just you two? Okay, well, welcome in all the way from Mexico just to see my show. I'm really I'm flattered we're going to do this right now. I'm guessing you two are a couple, yes? Yes. You look like a couple. That's good, because I have romantic <laughs> magic I want to show you. If you weren't a couple, it's awkward magic, so I'm glad you're here. Um, how long have you been together? Five years. Whoa, really? Five years. Congratulations Thanks. to you both. You remember five years ago to some of those first dates when you got to know each other, held hands, <laughs> realized you liked each other? Oh, yeah? yeah? I want to take you back to that, those first dates. I'm going to hand you a card. Melcher, I'm going to have you put your hand out. I'm going to hand you the ten of spades. Just put your hand out just like that. Karen, I need you to place your hand on top of that card. So you're kind of holding hands there. Put your hand on top. Perfect. Tight. Remember that? Those first dates and you're holding hands, a little spark of uh, maybe a little magic. I've got the ace of hearts. It's better for you two to have. Hearts represent love. We're here to talk about your love for a second. I'm going to do that and that. Did you feel that? Because those cards switched in your hand that quick. Look what you've got. Unhold your hands. Look what you've got while you're holding hands and you've got the hearts. Oh, isn't that romantic just for you guys? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I made a prediction. I made a prediction about meeting a very compatible couple, and I made that prediction on four other cards. I have four queens right here. I don't want you to think I'm using sleight of hand. Karen, I'd like you to hold these with your palm up, just like I have them. Just gently, perfect, just like that. You're holding four queens. I can't show you yet. I will show you in just a second. I've predicted in advance what you two are about to do. I made a prediction on one of those queens. This is all about your compatibility. You're going to work together on this. I think you're going to do great. Karen, it's your turn. Melcher chose red. Those are hearts and diamonds. You can keep either one. Which one would you like to keep? Hearts or diamonds? Hearts. Hearts over diamonds. <laughs> Love over money. Oh, yeah. She's a keeper. She is. <laughs> you know it. I know. He knows it. <laughs> Here's what's really interesting. You work together to choose one card. I predicted one card. No funny moves. The card I predicted is actually the card you thought of, the Queen oh. of Hearts. <laughs> I took it out of a totally different deck of cards, though. That's how sure I was about how compatible you would be. And I told you I was committed from the beginning. That's why I did not bother bringing any other cards at all for you two, except the Queen of Hearts. Wow. You're very compatible. Yeah, high five! I did it! High five! <laughs> I'm glad that worked out, actually. Here's the grand finale. Okay. Karen, you're going to help me out. I want you to think of any happy memory that you've made with Melcher. Don't say it out loud, I just want you to think about it. I'm not gonna try to figure it out. I want you to lock that happy memory in your mind. And when you have it, I want you to think approximately what time it happened to the nearest hour, just one through 12 o'clock, okay? Just for you to think about for now. You can be approximate if you need to, okay? Three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, again. 12 is right here. You're thinking of one of the times on this clock. It's my job to figure out what time that is. I'm about to read your mind. Are you ready, Karen? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> I'm kidding. That does nothing. That's, that's total nonsense. <laughs> I know. That's not real. <laughs> I'm just going to use this fork I stole from dinner earlier, actually, to complete the clock like an hour hand. I'm going to lay it where I believe you're thinking of. I am going to lay this fork at 5 o'clock, but that was not your time. Watch the fork. Was it 6 o'clock? Yes. You thought of 6 o'clock. This happy memory was at 6 o'clock. None of these cards matter anymore. Only the 6 o'clock card matters from here on out. And that's why I'm going to leave the 6 o'clock card with you tonight, kind of as a souvenir. Now, souvenir? Yeah, I want you to remember all the... Yes, please don't throw it out. <laughs> I'm going to show you in the camera what this card is. Would you agree? That's an important card. Oh, yeah. When you're ready, Melcher, I'd like you to show her what that card is. Sure.